Amaranth had a breakdown on one of her most recent streams. She revealed on her thousands of viewers that she has a husband. That husband of hers pressured her to have an OnlyFans, to not reveal their relationship on the internet, threatened to kill her dogs and take all her money since he has access to all of her accounts and downright abuses her to produce content to the point where it seems that Amaranth's husband is her pimp. The thing that I find bizarre in the situation is the way that women streamers like Amaranth hide their relationships from the internet just to keep an illusion for their fans. For so long, she was married with someone but kept this single facade that no one had even thought the possibility of her being in a marriage. So now that everything is revealed, what kind of illusion was broken? Before answering that question, we have to check on what kind of people are Amaranth's fans. I'm not a big fan of overgeneralizations, but when you release bathwater in jars for sale and they sell out in a day, when you have a consistent viewership of thousands of people every day watching you take a bath, when you gather a million every month from OnlyFans, you can't understand what type of fans Amaranth's husband attracted through the distorted image of her. But the illusion that caused Amaranth's mental breakdown was the one that made her so successful. It was built by her husband who knew exactly what her fans wanted and now the illusion is thankfully ruined. What's the illusion? It's the illusion that everybody had a chance with Amaranth. Doesn't matter that you haven't touched a woman since you were born. Doesn't matter that you haven't showered for over a month and you are a Reddit moderator. If you donate, she might be your girlfriend. See, Twitch and OnlyFans donations are two different but similar things. People think that if they donate to Amaranth and she will call out their name on stream, it's the same as acknowledging their existence and to their mind it's more than enough for them to think that they will be eligible for dating a girl that she never seen her donator face to face. It's the same with OnlyFans where people who subscribe have the illusion of engaging in a real conversation with someone because the site provides a look-alike chat room like Instagram. The real reason why people are so attracted to Amaranth and OnlyFans is that there is a conversation with no margin of error like in a real Instagram conversation because they paid for it to be illusionary successful where they always win something in the end. OnlyFans give an illusion of intimacy because her husband who controlled what kind of image she portrayed to her audience presented her as the perfect girl, the girl that every guy wanted. The bigger the donation, the bigger the appreciation. I won't get into why these people have made this logic in their head, that needs a lot of therapy for childhood trauma to figure out. This illusion and the phase that came with it was pushed into certain communities, but the one that was the most attracted to it was the gaming community. In general, the marketing of the OnlyFans models is focused on this community because, like it or not, its majority is full of gullible young people who buy into this certain kind of illusion. When Amaranth revealed her marriage, she ruined the illusion and it brought disappointment to her fans as if they had the real chance with her in the first place. I mean, this ruined illusion was more important to her fans than her being consumed by the image that her husband portrayed for her. Her fans were pathetic to watch because not only they were played like a fiddle but they also have an attitude about it. They genuinely believe that because they subscribed or donated to her they had a chance. It's the same as over tipping a waitress because she smiled at you. You think these guys that over tip ever end up dating? But in the end of the day does our opinion even matter in the situation? Shouldn't you be glad that she is safe? Anyways uh see ya love ya.